right, guys, Ian Anderson, such close to golf, and I'm again joined by Lewis Nava. Uh, we're going to watch you and your brother battle Jesse Bickley and Nick Wood. Uh, we got 27 holes up to go in the BC Open, and the first one of those is hole 10. All right, sweet downhill shot. Um, you're going to see an air shot. You're going to see a roller. You're going to see a bunch of forehands. Cool. I think we saw a lot of birdies in this hole last time. Oh, yeah. That was incredible. Did you get it? I think. Yeah, I got it. S yeah. Sweet roller to 20 feet. That's right. I imagine you're probably going back to that one. Yep. Same red destroyer. Cool. Not as much air this time around. But a good angle. Uh, yeah. Get over. Going long here? Yeah. The fact the guy turned around definitely went long. Went about <laughs> 50 long into the br thick stuff. Man, if you can get a destroyer, destroyer down on a good angle, they go a ways. And Nick, that's got to be a rock, right? Yeah, that's a rock. Flies like a rock. Yeah, that was Set beautiful. Settles like a rock. It sure did. And Andrew? Believe, just definitely destroyer. He ripped on that thing. Yeah, he ripped it just a tad too hard. Yep. Easy up and down, though. Yeah, for sure. Jesse? Believe that's a destroyer. Flying like one. Yeah, got good. Got good. Uh, got a good flight path there. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, he's thirty-five. That's that's step putt Jesse range. That's where he likes to be. Yeah. Nick, speaking of step putts, Ooh. I looked a lot closer on the on the drive. Still had some work left to do, and you. Getting yeah, crafty. Uh, that was definitely one of the little hardest outs I've ever had to do. Well done, though. I was fortunate enough to land there. You throw an XD roller right there? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, Andrew wanted that birdie. Wanted to keep up with the bro last round. And Jesse in prime Jesse range. Yeah, good bird. There you go. As a stroke on the card for him. Well done. You got a little low ceiling here. It's about the exact same spot I was for my bird last round. It is. You're right. Yeah. Convert for the par, though, this time nicely. Uh, Andrew is coming back for his par as well. Um, oh, Andrew. You didn't have to take all the juju. You could have left him like a little bit, you know. Right. Ah. He's mad. He did the exact same thing last round here. Did he really? Yeah, he went for it and then couldn't make his comeback. Ah. Those are those are worse than normal bogeys. The the Berdogi just does not feel awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. After ten, uh, looks like you still have a one stroke lead. Uh, Jesse doing some work with that nice birdie, and we are looking at hole eleven, Lewis. All right. You're gonna see a lot of forehand shots, and uh, I'll throw a leopard down the middle, have it go to the right, and uh, settle Nestle over here. Holes a lot harder than it looks, that's for sure. And I believe this is a pretty big drop off to the right. And yeah, long. it goes uh, pretty steep angle to the right. Disc lost. Jesse lost the disc there last round. Oh, that's right. Uh, we are looking at Jesse speaking of discs. Ooh, where'd this go? We got a camera malfunction on that one. Here. This is the Drew Leopard? Uh, no, this is a uh, Barry Schultz Leopard. Uh, oh. Didn't put enough eyes around it, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. See bag three Leos? Is there another one in there too? Uh, I got three of them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one I just threw, I uh, got that from my good buddy Jared Gogol. Oh, nice. The, the Google. <laughs> Does he know everything? He might as well have. <laughs> we went and? to his house and went to his house in Terrebonne, and he's got a gate with a giant G in the front, so it's Google Manor. Nice. Uh, Jesse's second shot, playing the forehand. Looks like he made sure not to go down the... Uh, the cliff this time yeah this looks like yourself wow almost almost wanted it who do you think this is andrew, andrew? yeah yeah so. little bitch out got about two-thirds of the way there it looks like uh nick has got to look for the two yeah we almost didn't find nick's actually really it was underneath some ferns there we knew it landed right there we almost couldn't find it it's funny how that happens sometimes. Andrew with a good awkward par cleanup. Credit my sister there. Yeah? We uh, play 21 a lot in the most awkward positions, like one knee down, opposite hand, that kind oh, of really? stuff. Huh. 
Yeah. Uh, that's smart, man. Yeah. Most people never practice those. Or call it, not we enough. We call it uh, schoolyard BS is what we call it. Nice. Yeah. I have a bunch of cleanups otherwise. It looks like a little par star action on 11. I still have one stroke. Jesse's still two strokes clear of third. And hole 12 is on deck. Uh, let's see. Oh, yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're all going to throw hyzers on here. I believe I'm throwing an FD3 on this one. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. 270 feet, not that far. Yeah. Bickley? Gator? Uh, Firebird? I don't know. That's pretty stable, that's for sure. Yeah, it looked pretty hooky. And this is your FD3? Yeah. Beautiful. Nestled. That is parked. And Mr. Wood? A little higher, a little wider, but working. Yeah. You guys are uh, making minis mm -hmm. behind that tree. It's Andrew? my tree. <laughs> you got it first. <laughs> Yeah, I believe he's throwing a Thunderbird here. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, apparently should have gone with a Firebird. Went yeah. A little bit long. And misses the birdie. Jesse for the two. Good two. That was. Three great drives here. As we'll see you and Nick drop in twos. Most likely, anyway. Did you concentrate a little harder on these short ones thanks to the, the tiny basket? Yeah. I mean, can't take anything for granted. I've gone to learn that over yep. the years of playing. Even a little five-foot putt, if I rush it and it spits out, I'm going to think about it for weeks on end. It's like, you should have thought about it, not just tossing it with your <laughs> bag on. Yeah, that that is, is so true. You just keep thinking about it. It's so hard to stop. Yeah. Uh, some nice birdies from everyone except for Andrew, it looks like. Uh, we still have a one-stroke lead. Jesse Lurkin, and we are on hole 13. One of the signature holes out here, I feel. Um, to uh, want to throw it nice and straight, uh, try and land in the middle of the fairway, try and get deep, just so you can have a nice uh, straight to hyzer uh, approach right over here to the basket that's hidden right behind the tree. Yeah, I feel like this one you could really... You know, take advantage of you practice a lot. <laughs> Find that perfect landing. Zone. You know what? I practiced this hole a lot, uh, and of course, it of course didn't work <laughs> during <laughs> the round when it did during practice. Uh, too funny. Yeah, Looks Jesse like smashes as a destroyer straight up the middle. Great shot by Jesse. Great shot. Wow. Can't get better than that. No, maybe ten feet long of anything, but he should be fine. There's that Gibson Leopard. I feel there was a little headwind. Yeah. Oh, Got a yeah. decent spit out, though. Yeah, definitely kept Jesse's destroyer pretty straight. Nick looks like a destroyer as well. Uh-oh. Yeah. He dropped this one in the water. Oh, there's water yeah. down there. He had a $20 reward for that thing, but that's pretty much quicksand over there. Is the guy it? tried, and he gave up after two seconds. He's like, it's not happening. I'm sorry. Wow. Andrew, ideal, perfect shot right here. Beautiful. Oh, that man. is perfect. Perfect. You're right. Yeah. Wow. What was that thing? Destroyer again? Yeah. That's that AJ again. So you got a flex one over, or are you just thinking? Yeah. I just wanted to Andy one straight towards it, and it just never wanted a hyzer back. Uh, Nick throwing three from the DZ, makes it through the gap, and I'll have a putt for four. And here is Andrew's perfect drive. This oh, was one of I, those. Oh. This was one of those. What the hell moments, to Andrew? Oh no! I even told him it's like wide open, fifty feet to the right, and you <laughs> threw it right into a bush. And he was like, "Shut <laughs> up!" It's like, well, oh. I'm just saying. Oh man, I'm sure he was thinking it too. Oh, that hurts. Yep. Here is your third. Ooh, good bid. Wood coming back for the uh, par. Putting league. Wow. Yep. Way to come back right there. Who we got here? Looks like Andrew. Could still salvage the bird. Oh, no. 
Yeah. So close. There were some words being said walking to the next tee. I'll tell uh, you that right now. <laughs> oh. Bickley. Dropping it in there for the birdie. Yep, easy bird. That's a stroke on the card. Thank for Jesse getting himself back in the mix here. Right. Yep, he has 18 down, just three back of you, two back of Nick. Andrew kind of lurking in the back there. More BC Open for you guys. Huge, huge thanks. Innova Champion Disc sponsoring our coverage and the tournament hole 14 part three. Just a pretty basic hyzer for you know open arms. Yeah, true. It's a uh, it's pretty uphill though. It says 360. Feels more four 420 ish. Okay. Bickley, you know this kid's got the arm to get there though. Yeah, there's that young tenant again. Yep. Sias Elmore likes to call it the long wrist. I don't know if you heard that. Oh yeah, him. he's also got a he's also got a foot longer arm than I do. <laughs> yes, he does. That kid is lanky. It's a pretty good pull, Lewis. Yeah, I just I didn't give it enough air. That's for sure. Give it if I would have gave it at least another five feet or so of air, probably would have parked it. Yeah, agreed. Nick looks to be I, mean, I guess a little tight, but we'll see. Nope, perfect. Uh, as textbook as you could be. That is for sure. Andrew. Said AJ. Hung it out a little wide. Yep. Uh, no good skip. No. It's kind of a little, just outside the circle there. Maybe about a 40 look, footer. Look, looks in his range, though. Yeah, definitely. In his range. Yeah, buddy. Andrews has some great putts this round. Yeah. That's, I think that's his claim to fame. Really thinking about it. When yeah. his putting's on, his putting's on. Yeah, man. He's in good ones. Uh, ah. Getting big putted by the brother. All right. Is there anything worse? I could I could name a few things. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> We've had this discussion once or twice. Trust me. <laughs> uh, Jesse makes a good putt, as does Nick, and you'll be losing a stroke to the card here with a drop in par. So my brother and I play sports, you know, together, but we, we're very good at different things. So there's, <laughs> we're not competitive like you guys are. It's so funny. You guys are so close, man. Yeah. Everyone thinks we're twins or a year apart. I actually have four and a half years on him. Do you so. really? Yeah. How funny. Almost, almost five. But every time people say, oh, five, no, four and a half. He has to say, no, four and a half. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what's the plan on hole 15, Lewis? Yeah, I'm just a... Uh, just a simple hyzer. Uh, only problem with this hole is uh, swirly wind. You're feeling a tailwind. You're feeling a crosswind. Look at the flag right there in the corner. Uh -huh. So you got to play this thing right. And then up there, it's a little crossy when you see the disc is getting pushed down. Yeah, I didn't want to fade until it started skipping. Yeah, good shot by Jesse, though. It was. Worked out well. Nick? Is he going rock? Uh, no, that's, a, that's definitely a destroyer. Okay. That, Still good. That win was tr tricking me. Andrew? Thunderbird. Get over there. Good skip. Yeah, it was. CTP so far. You are bobbing it here. Yeah, I missed fire by myself. <laughs> yeah, just straight hyzer. Definitely uh, did not play the wind well there. What'd you throw? Uh, it's my re my straight destroyer. Okay. Shouldn't have thrown it on a hyzer. Should have just threw it straight. I almost capitalized it, though. You did. Good bid there. But at least it'll three. Uh, Nick coming back for his two. Nicely done. Looks like Jesse is up next on the birdie putts. Oh, 
you can tell he's really focusing on those short ones now <laughs> that he uh, missed yeah. one. And Andrew, CTP drive, looking to convert the two. Well done. Good to you, Andrew. Yeah. Way to not suck. <laughs> <laughs> As I tap my three. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And I believe you are again losing a stroke to the card, and Nick just took the lead. And uh, Jesse, just a couple back right now. Got a good battle going between the three of you guys. Hole 16. Yeah, it's a pretty long hole. Uh, just want to mash one down the middle. Uh, try not to mash it too hard. I, you know, I, I don't think any of us could mash it far enough to get onto that golf green. That's OB. Uh -huh. Uh, but just want to throw it up near the tree and then lay up a little 180, 200 foot hole, uh, putter shot and take your three and move on. Sounds like a plan. Let's see if you guys can execute. Uh, Jesse has a box. That's a star destroyer. That is crushed. Yeah. See how far Jesse can throw and look. He's not even close to the green. Yeah, cheers. Nick? Yeah, this is a pretty good smash too. Mm -hmm. Looks like that. He got all. He got all of it. Oh, he did. Yeah. Did he get past Jesse? Yep. Yep. Somebody's closer. Andrew. Uh, too low. Yep. Initially, we thought this was going deep into the. He just went right down oh. the path and went another two hundred feet. <laughs> Trick, <laughs> tricky, <laughs> right? That's that's the pro move right there. And me, this time around, I said, hey, go park yourself near that tree so that you're level with the basket, not on a, an incline going uphill. Man, there's there's something to be said for that. Yeah. Here. See, I feel a lot more comfortable right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, just throwing across rather than up. Yeah. And if those trees aren't in the way, should be a birdie. Jesse, second. I believe that's a gator. That is parked. Nick. And giving it a run. Ooh. Ooh. Those are uh, two great upshots right there. And Andrew with the beast drive. <laughs> that thing went so far, Lewis. Right. Wow. Tricky, tricky. Here you are straddling. I really had to stretch to get this one. Yeah, you did. Good, strong shorts right there. Didn't fail you. Right. Andrew converts his birdie as well. Looks like we're looking at a star frame. Not a super easy hole, but definitely gettable for you guys. Yeah, should be a should be a bird birdie three. Yeah, not too much danger. I keep thinking about poor Hector. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was this hole, wasn't it, with the B attack? Yeah, oh, with the man. B attack. Yeah, it's too nice to have that happen to him. All right. All right. There's that star frame, and we are on hole 17. All right. Another hole, you just want to throw it completely straight. You'll see a lot of forehands, some rollers, uh, but typically you just want to throw it straight and then uh, just pitch up with a putter or mid-range for your next shot and avoid the sand trap to the right. Yeah, that is a precariously placed sand trap. Yeah. I guess the basket was probably placed out of the sand trap, if I'm being honest, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what you guys got. Jesse looks like a destroyer again. How's this looking? Pretty good. Yep. Not as, as right as he was last time, but pretty great spot act. Okay. Nick cutting the corner a little harder. Too hard? Yeah, that's pretty. Yep. Yeah, too he yep, too hard. Kicks out, thankfully. At Peach AJ. Boom. Ooh, that thing is flippy. Yeah. There's also a little headwind. Was there? That, okay. That, that explains Nick's flipping over too too quickly. Gotcha. Hopefully you read those wind reports. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> As you flipped into the woods there. Are you going to roll her second shot? Yeah. I'm trying to put it straight up and down. And yeah. Oh, get out of the woods. I was fortunate enough that it landed just on the edge. Okay. Here's Nick's second shot after going to the trees early. 
It goes in the trees late here. I'm still putting, though. He just avoided the sand trap, too. Yeah. And Jesse, finishing so far left, has give himself a pretty good angle uh, to attack the basket without having to worry about that sand trap. Yeah, it's always good to have that forehand also. It is, isn't it? I wish I knew. Uh, there is an Andrew forehand up. Goes a little long. I was going to say, I wish I knew, too. <laughs> here is your third from the woods. Are you thinking about it, or just trying to yeah. get close? Oh no, no, I was, I was trying to, I was trying to sink it. I was like, sand trap's not in the way. I'll just throw it up in the air, and hopefully it, it sinks in. Yeah, you had a backstop. Might as well. Andrew unfortunately misses his birdie putt. Here is Nick from the woods. That one came out weird. Yeah. I wonder if he hit something. It's a little wobbly. Yeah. Uh, Jesse for pretty much a drop in birdie as a stroke on the card for him. Getting him further into the mix. Andrew coming back for the par. Uh, Nick for his par. And then eventually you'll drop in yours. And a tough hole, especially with that wind. It worked out, though. Uh, there is that birdie from Jesse. It is now tied with you for second. And Nick has a stroke clear in the lead. Uh, what's the plan on hole 18? Hole 18, uh, you got a little green right in the front. Really doesn't come into play, but you just want to mash the sweet hyzer, try and land in that little grass green open past the swampiness and uh, throw a little approach shot up the hill. Cool. Easier said than done, though. I believe people had some trouble hitting that, that, uh, that gap. Definitely easier said than done. All that tree, all the trees right there to the left before the hyzer is all OB. Gotcha. All right. Let's see what you guys got. Uh, Bickley has the box. A little long? Uh, kind of. He should have got a skip a skip left, and he went straight instead. Mm -hmm. Nick looks to be a little bit tighter to line. A lot tighter than I would be, but yeah, no. Uh, still good. Yeah. Give himself a decent angle for that uh, second alley there. Andrew. That's long. Oh, my. <laughs> He's gonna, That's way long. What's he going to do from there? That's going to be interesting. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, it's about the right speed. I wanted a little higher, but no, that's as as good as you can go. Yeah. Uh, Nick's second shot, and yeah, he lined himself up pretty well. Yeah. Kind of turning the upshot a, a skosh, but he'll still have a putt for the uh, the birdie. A little DXXD I got here. Flips, flips pretty good uphill. Nice. Maybe that's a similar spot you were last round. Yeah. And Jesse with tough forehand here. Yeah. And oh, there's this, Lewis. Yeah, there's that little. Huh. I wonder if Andrew scouted that one out. We'll we'll give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna make for a tough birdie though. Jesse looking for his. Great, great putt. A great way to end your round. With one more to go. Andrew? Oh, I yep. corrected. Nice birdie. I got him an ice cream cone for that one. <laughs> he deserves it. Right. And Nick, I believe, is going to par. You are looking for the bird. Nice. Sneaks it in. Is that a th three-way tie for the lead right now? Yep, three-way tie. Wow. As Nick drops in the par. Let's check out these scores. Yep, 323s. Crazy, man. I like it. Yeah, this has got to be one of those tournaments. It's probably the uh, most cutthroat tournament I've ever played in, just because uh -huh. I've never had so many people. Just anyone could win. Yeah, absolutely. We got 18 holes left, and we got three people in the tournament. Sign me up. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed round three. Lewis, thanks again so much for coming on. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Yep. And we'll catch you guys in round four.